I was put on this earth decades and decades ago, a venture to see what life may bring, born in the usual way and yet still here at 70, having observed those many things. The atomic bomb preceded me by just one year. World War II had ended because of it causing many a tear. Growing up with family ties in Ohio, those memories with me still. Those quaint days of bicycles, hula hoops, even rock and roll still gives me a thrill. Those were the days we had air to breathe and fresh water to drink, and neighbors talked to one another may be strange, don't you think? As a teen, moved to LA, went to high school in the smoggy mist. Graduation ended, but Vietnam emerged, calling my generation to enlist. Days gone by, cigarettes everywhere, condoms behind the lock counter. When RAM meant an animal, no computers or calculators were offered. I met my love Sue, married and watched our children grow, don't you see? The years swiftly passed, the world changing drastically. Sue passed away too soon, a tragedy that shook my foundation having lost my wife. Three years later, I found my second love, Carolyn, and I so blessed again in my life. I am a student of life, monitoring time and its ebbing flow. Less fresh water and air, more people around the world, don't you know? Two billion at my birth, now seven billion or so. Texting and smartphones replace the personal human touch. Google and Facebook counting friends by each like. Now is that just too much? Zombies. A world community of humans staring at little screens. Video games of violence. School shootings. A daily event, it certainly seems. I love life and still believe that humanity will survive evermore despite abuse of wives, animals, and children by millions galore. It is painful to watch both technology and progress causing things to decline. When I question today's lifestyles, the answer I get says, everything's just fine. Gone are the days of simple living, fresh water and air. Our youth are spoiled rotten, entitlement and despair. There are exceptions in today's youth, giving glimmering light. I support all efforts toward relieving this world's plight. To the last ones left, please turn off the lights.